couldn't have it. All right. Yep, you already got it. <laughs> okay. So um, thumbs on C. Um, you're going to go do our five steps of sound, which is going from our thumb all the way to our pinky. One, two, three, four, five. And you're going to do that three times. Okay. Hang on. I got to go put the binky in his mouth. But go ahead and try that. Three times. Yep, just like that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so so we have two tail pieces. The first one is gonna be that exactly. Three, two, five, five. And if you look on your paper, it basically tells you how to do it. So one, two, three, four, five, one, three, five, one, three, five, three, two, five, five. Then you're gonna do this again. Da 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 so let's see if you can go that far. So you're going to do three of these, and then this one, and then three more of these. There you go. OK, now you do it again. Now you're gonna do three finger. Yep, but now you're gonna do this one. So you did your first tail piece at the first time, and now the second time through, you're gonna do the second tail piece. And you're gonna play three finger, which is your middle finger, and then you're gonna do an opposite one. So starting from your pinky, pinky going to your thumb. Yep, and that is the whole song. So let's see if you got it. So let's start from the beginning. I know, it's really easy now. Make sure you play the two, three finger first. Three, and then. Yep, awesome. Okay, one more time, just like that. Got it. Okay, now for the bottom hand. Bottom hand is going to be almost the same as the top for this part but it's going to just play the pinky and then the thumb so it's not going to play the in-between fingers so it's just going to go so we'll play the bottom together and then this guy this guy's going to go and when he gets to the top he'll play the top you see that can you try that Okay, now for this part, you're going to play the three finger by himself. When you play the two, your bottom hand pinky is going to move down one note to this B, okay? And it's going to play together. And then the second time you play the five, you're going to play the E right here. Okay, so it's going to go. Can you try that for me? Yep, there you got it. Okay, and then you'll do the da 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 again. Yep, okay, and exactly, you're gonna play that three finger by himself. Then what your bottom hand is gonna do is your whole hand is gonna move down one note. Okay, so now your pinky's on B and you have five fingers over five notes and you're gonna play the bottom, top, and then two finger. Like that. Okay, so those are the notes of the bottom hand. Try the bottom hand. Yeah, there you go, that's it. Okay, so now it's gonna go. And you're gonna play every two notes you have in the top, you'll play one note in the bottom. So it's gonna go. One, two, one, two, one. Okay. 
Okay, so you'll play three figure by himself. Three, one, two, one, two, one. Can you try it? All right. There you go, you got it. There you go. Okay, let's see if you can play the whole song. I just gotta go put his pinky in his mouth, but I can hear you. You got it. And we learned that song in like five minutes. So <laughs> good job, Isaac. <laughs> All right, so now let's go ahead and add dog to our playlist. So we have dog and it has a question mark dog. That's what it's called, <laughs> but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay, we have time to learn a little bit more. So we're gonna learn <clears throat> The, the third section of Alma Matter Blues, okay? So here we go. Um, I'm gonna have you play for me. It only has three. So this is the last section. <laughs> um, all right, but before we learn this, I would like you to play for me sections one and two that you already know, okay? So like, I don't know how to do that middle part, like in between the first and second. In between the first and second? So there's not really any middle part. Does that make sense? It just goes straight from one to the other. Oh, okay. Yeah. Awesome. Perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna do the third section. So um, what we'll do is we'll take take the that part and we're gonna move it to the end of the third section now, okay? So let me play the whole thing for you so you know what it's gonna sound like and then we'll learn it, okay? It's really nice and full, super fun. Okay, here we go. So that, what we need to learn for this third part is called the cage chords, okay? And if you look on your page, um, page 10, this is gonna be the new order for the third section. Um, the underlined chords, or un yeah, the underlined Roman numerals, 
those are going to be our new cage cords. The ones that are just normal and don't have anything, that's going to be our dun da 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 da. The one that's circled is going to be our Bishop Street Blues chord, which we did before the. Okay, so these two we already know. So these guys are the ones that we need to learn. Okay, so. Um, I don't. If, I don't. I think you were talking about the reading rhythm. I thought you were talking about the reading rhythm. I don't have that book. Oh, you don't have this one? The reference? Uh uh. Okay, can you see it on my camera? Okay. Um, barely. Barely? Okay. Well, um, if I hold it up like that, can you see it? A little better? Yeah. Okay. You'll, I'll just kind of have you memorize it as you go. Oops. Um, hang on. I'm going to have you memorize it. Oops. As you go. So, um, gosh, my phone's dying. So, <laughs> okay. So here we go. Um, cage chords. We call them the cage chords because you spell the word cage, C-A-G-E, backwards, okay? So you have C, A, G, E, like that. Can you play that for me? There you go. And then you're gonna play it together as a chord. Yep, exactly. Okay, oh, you know what? I didn't realize what time it is. Okay, we're gonna have to pick up again next week the Alamada Blues because it's already past our time. So, darn, we were so close. Okay, but you learned dog, so that's good. We'll pick up Alamada Blues third section next week. Um, we, it really is not that much more to learn. So, okay, you have a new song, dog, and then a page seven of your rhythm, okay? And then obviously your full playlist. But those are just new things. So, okay, do you have any questions before we end today? Okay, I think you're doing great, Isaac. Keep up the good practice, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.